morning, everybody. It is raining quite severely here in central Pennsylvania. We are live, we are live, live, live to talk more Bap and Rovers transfer news. Sorry, the rain is probably gonna make this audio very shit. And I've already had some people complain about the audio, so it's gonna be quite severe. But it is, of course, our latest transfer news. I am live in the middle of central Pennsylvania and it is actually outgoings, of course, Blackburn Rovers. Uh, two names could be going, uh, departing Blackburn Rovers over the next uh, couple of weeks, I'd say, before the transfer window slam shut. And they are Tyler Magalori, of course. Uh, hola, Polar in the house. we just a uh, chat with Polar, uh, the latest member of the Rovers Seas Mafioso. He'll be uh, working on the graphics moving forward. Uh, appreciate him coming on board. Uh, more of that will be revealed later. But yeah, James Brown and Tyler Magalori, both players could be set to depart Blackburn Rovers, uh, either on a permanent deal or on uh, or on loan bit loan business. So we do anticipate a lot of Rovers candidates to be going about out on loan. Uh, they've had a great showing on the preseason. Uh, a lot of names that were unfamiliar with us just two months ago becoming commonplace in our Rovers vocabulary. That's right. But Tyler Magalori is a player that's been around with Rovers for a few seasons now. Uh, hello, Adam Davy in the house. Uh, so yeah, Tyler Magalori has been with us for a few seasons and of course has been most recognized for his speed, uh, who of course was once dubbed faster than Kylian Mbappe, was once dubbed probably one of the fastest 100 meter runners uh, in, in, in England. But uh, unfortunately it's never really worked out for him uh, with after various loan spells both in England and Scotland. It looks like Tyler Magalori will be setting sail uh, for a pastures new and I believe the rumour has it that it will be on a permanent deal. So unfortunately, despite the speed, despite the rapid, the rapidness of Tyler Magalori, the quality realistically is not there. He is not getting any younger as well, 23 years of age. Right here, right now, he'll be 24 uh, in December. So uh, he really should be making a, 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 a go of it one way or another. So of course, he's been on loan at Rochdale, been on loan at Hartlepool, Northampton and Motherwell as well. Motherwell top flight, remember? When he was there, so he might have a he might have a, a career north of the border. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see which and whereabouts he will go. Now the major surprise to me, maybe, is the fact that James Brown has been uh, made available. Are we going to sign him? I, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so yeah, James Brown, of course, brought in by Tony Mowbray on a free uh, from I think it was a free from Dro Droga United out in Ireland. Of course, made quite a few games for him. He is also not getting any younger. 24 years of age, right here, right now. And I think he's just turned 24. So realistically, <laughs> in all honesty, if you're not making a name or credible, give yourself credible reputation by the time you're 22, uh, I think your time at Blackburn Rovers is, is going to be limited. So we brought him in. I was hoping he would be the next uh, Seamus Coleman or something like that, Billy Bargain from Ireland. And I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit gutted that he's, he's actually been made way. Um, and he's going to go out on loan. Maybe the maybe the story is not set for James Brown. Maybe he will go out six months loan, get EFL experience, whether it is in League One or League Two, uh, and come back a better man. Maybe he just needs the rough and tumble of the EFL. But Tyler Magalori looks set to go on a permanent bit of business. To be honest with you, yes, he did have the speed. He might have had one, maybe one and a half games uh, under his belt. Uh, of good quality, but realistically, when you're 24, soon to be 24, you got to be expecting a bit more than that. Yeah, the new gaffer is showing a bit of faith with the youngsters, but he's also being a bit cutthroat as well by saying, you know what, you're not really at the standard that we want at this time. I think it's best for you and your career to move on. So Tyler Magalloy looks set to go. James Brown also looks set to go. We've got some idiots on the road as well here, boys, not including this one. But other ones. As for signings, uh, I don't know if we're going to be making any signings today. When I say we, I mean Blackburn Rovers. However, stay tuned to the socials on, on Blackburn Rovers Seas. If you're not following me so far, make sure you do so. I've got a major announcement myself for the channel that's coming at you probably in about three or four hours. I've got to confirm it. I've got to speak to the, the people and make sure we've got it across the T's and dotted the I's. But regardless of all that, Sorry, I, it is it is wireless. I'm on on the phone. Uh, do I think Diaz is staying? I don't think so. I think we we will start the season with Diaz. I think we might even get two or three games out of him, and hopefully he'll get two or three goals. But ultimately, I think he will leave, um, and I think he will go to the Premier League. Leeds, West Ham United, Brighton are all probably in the mix, especially if Neil Malpe goes. 
Brighton have been looking at uh, uh, well, a couple of bids have come in for Neil Malpe, which of course will, is one of their leading strikers. They would need somebody else, and maybe just maybe we can make a bit of a deal uh, with John Paul Van Heck and of course uh, Brighton. Uh, and Diaz going the other way. So that's hopeful. Uh, I'm hopeful for that as well because that would be a major, major signing. A lot of Rovers fans are getting a little bit excited about the potential return for John Paul Van Heck, but I've not seen anything so far. And as for right here, right now, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know where that stands. And to be honest with you, I think a lot of the the, the rumours of a couple of couple of days ago, the bowlers, the uh, the the, uh, the Sammy Simidic and uh, Matey Boy Callum Stars all died down a little bit. I don't think. We're anywhere closer to bringing them in. But, uh, but for one thing's for sure, two players are edging towards the outdoor of Ewood Park. That's Tyler Magalori, expected to be a permanent. And I probably I would anticipate either a lower League One or a higher League Two team to come in for that. As for James Brown, I'd love to see him go to League One, earn his spurs a little bit, and then come back a better player for Blackburn Rovers. As for me, expect me to get completely soaked here. I don't really have a good rain jacket, and it is throwing it down right here right now busy week ahead on the channel make sure you subscribe as well for not just rovers content efl content world football content ladies content can i even get the parking lot is it gonna let me in come on mate come on mate fuck sakes i hate this there we go I hate this parking lot bag of shit uh, anyway, we're on the move. Uh, I'll see you all very, very soon. I might have another video later tonight if we are to get some breaking news out of Ewood Park. But ultimately, I don't think there's going to be any business. There's an open training session going on today. Uh, I think a lot of focus is on that. But of course, we do anticipate to have a lot of overseas daily updates like this moving forward, whether it's injury, suspension, tactical changes, and all that kind of stuff as we edge closer to kickoff for the brand new season. So make sure you subscribe for your regular content here. And again, we will have a watch along this this coming Saturday, plus what uh, vlogs, plus fan reaction, much build up, much uh, uh, hype surrounding the game, and of course, a lot of uh, stuff out the outside door. We're talking about match ratings, we're talking about words from Tony Mowbray, I'm in the, not Tony Mowbray, John Paul Van, I'm in the park in the wrong bloody thing here. You make me confused, people. It's not your fault, it's my fault. Uh, but uh, make sure you subscribe as well. Um, but uh, yeah, lots of regular content coming at you uh, with a lot of focus on Blackburn Overseas. Be sure to smash your subscribe, smash that thumbs up. It it does wonders for the old algorithm, it does wonders for the channel, and of course it does wonders for me. And of course, appreciate you, and of course if Polar's still still sticking around, give him some love on the old socials. Uh, he'll be uh, uh, participating and incorporating a lot of his graphics uh, on the channel moving forward. As we grow this baby to something else, can I find a bloody parking spot? I don't know. I'm going to go right here. Right here. Anyway, I'm off to work, guys. See you all later. Be safe out there. Stay dry. Uh, tell me about the Transfers Plus. Are you driving nice, but I am. Respect to my brothers out there. I'll see you all. Make sure you sub smash your subscribe. Smash the thumbs up. We are live. Live, live, live. Regular Rovers content. But until then, girls and boys, we are donezo Donny Dunzo. Ducky Dunzo. How do I press stop? There we go. Yo! Here comes the thunder.